Hello everyone, I am Mecca and I'm back here with Mangs for chapter 13 of my Fire Emblem 7 Negative Growth playthrough. <laughs> we finally have sound sharing and he's, make, he's making the most of it. <laughs> okay, on second thought, maybe you need to turn your shit down because I can still hear your voice. <laughs> sound sharing was a mistake. <laughs> okay, shut up, I want to talk Fire Emblem. <laughs> This is a Fire Emblem channel, please. <laughs> okay, so Sorry. when I was new to Hector Heart Mode, I thought this was a really hard map and I had a really hard time. And the reason for that was because I went south on this map. Uh, there's actually two routes you can go. It's like a mini route split, I guess. You gotta go south and you have to fight a lot of enemies and you have to go through this, this guy over here. And you have to fight some reinforcements and some Pegasus Knights and you can get this mine village here. Or you can go to the left and you fight one Cavalier and then maybe one Pegasus Knight, maybe two. And there's just a chill village that you can easily reach. And Man, it's all it's good. Like a, it's like a retard check. Can you <laughs> imagine anyone going south? Holy shit, that guy must be like the stupidest guy ever. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> can you think of can you think of a term for like a thing that like looks appealing but isn't really appealing to newer players that's like bad for them actually when it looks good? I can't really think of a good term for that. I think like the grass is greener on the other side, but I don't think that fits. No. But, mm -hmm. um, Maybe because... something like a, a trap or uh, something that falls in when you step on it. I don't know. I can't think I mean, of anything. I don't know. A lot of people like traps, if uh. you know what I mean. Uh. <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway, uh, it is a seize map. We need to go here no matter what with Hector and kill a boss, get rid of him, and then get on the gates. And then we need to recruit Guy or Guy. What the hell was that? <laughs> what is wrong with you today? It's the name of the guy. His name is Boy. No, the name of the guy is Guy. Uh, this, uh, right. Well, we'll talk about him when I recruit him, which I hope to be able to do because I want to recruit every character and keep everyone alive. So many people are getting fucking triggered yeah. by the fact that I call like Camus and Guy is like the biggest triggering ever. <laughs> like I don't know, people get so fucking pissed over that. They're like, you never pronounce. You know what the way. funniest thing ever is? It, it's called, actually called Gradivu. <laughs> that is really? the funniest shit ever. No, it's not. It's just because he's oh. called Camus. <laughs> ah, Gradivu. Oh my god. I would have believed it. <laughs> I know you just did. <laughs> Every everything else that ends in French yeah. has like a weird ending, so Yeah. So Oswin is I think the only person who can want it kill snags besides um, Marcus. And Marcus got a really weird starting position. I think we've talked about this before where the, the starting positions of your units can vary a little bit. Not every unit yeah, can yeah, be somewhere yeah. else, but for example Marcus can also be over here. And that can actually, actually, if you do like an LTC playthrough, that can cost you turns, which is kind of funny. Isn't that and just sad. Uh, mode dependent, though? Yeah, I think it might be mode dependent. It, I think it might be Lin mode dependent. I'm really not sure. Uh, I yeah, read about it I... at one point, but I don't remember the specifics. It's not too relevant. Anyway, let's just try to keep Hector out of range, because he's got enough yeah. level ups for the rest of his life. Yeah, while you do that, I'm actually going to go up and I'm going to check. I'm going to look up our previous Let's Play. The one we did on my channel. I'm gonna see if I had a different starting position. Oh, you do that. That's probably better than you humming along with the music really obnoxiously. Mm, I can do both. Yeah. <laughs> so, to interrupt this humming, I'm going all full left. I'm not even gonna get the mine village unless it like falls into my lap because I don't plan on using the mine glitch in this playthrough and mm. I don't really think the damage will be too relevant. The mine is like, it's a funny little item. I think it's only in this game, at least obtainable in this game. It is funny, yeah. but I don't need it. And it's a lot easier to just ignore the village and not sending anyone there. It's going to be a little cramped in the upper left, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, this is where people always expect to get a kill with Eddie Wood, and then they always come out disappointed when they realize, hey, Eddie Wood isn't really that good, and he can't get this kill. I can actually give it to him with Rebecca if I want to, which I think I'm going to. Look at this damage yeah, just, output. <laughs> Look yeah, at this. She's really, she's really great. So I just checked out a starting position, and, and I, I, I'm pretty similar to you, but I do believe my Elliot would start in a different location. Elliot would, really? Yeah, he started on my on our playthrough. He started next to the river. I think he didn't do that on yours. Oh, weird. I think. I usually, I remember Marcus and Dorcas can be somewhere else, I didn't know about Eliwood though. Uh, maybe I'm just, yeah, but clearly like, um, but yeah, I've definitely noticed that like Mar uh, Dorcas and Bartra can both be up in the right corner, which is really weird. That's I don't know. Axel. Fire Emblem 7 has these weird things, like the, like the fucking AI of the Pegasus Knights, you know, there's <laughs> things that we just don't know yet. There are some mysteries that we just haven't resolved. Although I yeah. think, I think these mysteries have been resolved, I just don't know what the resolver is managed to think of. Okay. Wow, that's I'll a good it. one. Yeah, it's a good level up. It's weird to think that losing stats can be a good level up, but that's Too a good level up. Too bad he lost the best stat, though. 
Oh well, sacrifices have to be made. I can drop Oswin or Bartra in a good spot, I think. Uh, I think Bartra can be lifted by, yeah. Okay, so I will um, see. You know, move Bartra I, here, I, yeah. So. I hate to talk about like fates during your Fire Emblem 7 let's play. Oh, triggered. But do, you, but do you know how they fixed luck in fates? Oh, how did they do? They just doubled everything on it. Like, <laughs> four luck instead of plus two. And rally luck gives like twice as much. They just doubled luck. Which is really funny because so that shows like... that they. Yeah, they know that it's shit, but they just double everything. Like, I don't, why not just double the luck stat? Like, the effects of it. It's. I don't know. I would, that always triggered me so much. It took, like, them like, know, it took them like 12 games too. <laughs> like 14 you know games. know how bad the Lux that is. And you like did like a stupid solution. <laughs> the Lux cap's still the same. So it's still a shitty stat in the end. Yeah. Uh, man, I'm feeding so many kills to my underlevel units. It's, I'm doing better than in your ranked run. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I was going to mention this. Like what, what's funny about this run is that you are probably going to play both quicker and probably with less deaths than some of my... <laughs> Playtress with fucking growths I mean, on them. To be completely fair, I get to use Marcus a lot more, so like Yeah, I did like, oh yeah, I did try to hold Marcus back a lot. Like I didn't do a very good job at it, but I definitely You, you tried. <laughs> you know that I image tried, is like tried, you tried. <laughs> I tried my best to like not have him massacre the entire map. You just have to worry about not giving him boss kills. Yeah. I don't have to. And also, yeah. Yeah, and also, I did not do this at all. I think I went south, and the, I think the reason why I went south was because, well, I also had to worry about the XP rankings. I wanted to get as many kills as possible on my units, while not, while at the same time trying to somewhat play it fast. <laughs> I meant to drop Hector here. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter because he's not no, in range either way. But it's, <laughs> I like how Lords can walk on rivers. That's actually what allows you to get a low turn count in this map by having Hector carry Marcus across the river. Yeah, Funny you enough. mentioned that. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying something. Yeah. No, I was pretty much done. Like just <laughs> saying that. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I was restricted a little bit by the ranking, but it's still fucking like embarrassing to see you like do this chapter quicker than I did, but with growths. I mean, I'm just yeah. really, really familiar with this game. I've played it so many times. Um... Yeah, Fire Emblem Seven. I think I've done like maybe four or five playthroughs in total of that, and like two, two of them were like as a complete noob. So I didn't I... really immerse myself. Fire Emblem Six, on the other hand, I played like 15 times. I can get crits and I don't like it, but I think it's I don't I want to get this Pegasus off my back, so whatever. One one of these days, Mecca, one of these days in the future, I'm gonna do a Fire Emblem Six Iron Man run with you. Like Oh great. Look forward to it. Iron Man ranked, yeah. of course. Of course, of course. <laughs> no, just kidding, that would be horrendous. You, you lost your mind. <laughs> Right. I mean, does it matter if it's ranked or not? I mean, Iron Man is Iron Man. You play it the way you play it. Like, you can't reset. I think Don so Don almost, I think Dundon almost S ranked Fire Emblem 6 by playing LTC. <laughs> In your 0% growth turn, you got the you got the triple S. Did I? I know. You, you, like, yeah, you did. You did get the, the perfect S rank in your 0% growth turn. Oh, turns. I, I think I remember. Not, it's not really? that hard. It's not that hard. I think I remember him failing XP, actually. I looked it up a while ago because I've been saying that, oh. what you just said, but I think I might have been wrong. Uh, maybe I was. I don't um, know. I'm gonna use Hector's hand axe to get rid of this archer. Because those calves are they sword calves or lance calves? Uh, these are lance calves. Hector so can. Hector can. Hector can usually want to kill them at like growth playthrough, but mine has minus two strength, I think, or minus yeah, one. Yeah, he's leveled up horrendously. He's also gotten minus two speed. Uh, was it? Was this chapter twelve level up okay? Uh yeah, maybe. You have to reset once. I think on the on the first go. Oh, that's right. So yeah, we should probably talk about this. Like. I'm a little bit like I disagree with with getting Merlinus here, but Mecha apparently thinks that's a good idea because you get ten thousand gold. I personally would maybe opt to skip the Merlinus chapter because I think that maybe like the experience you get would be detrimental to you. But Mecha seems to think that ten thousand gold is a better idea. So I th it's actually five thousand gold, and I think it's worth it because oh, I don't right. have I don't have to get that many kills in the chapter. Um, if I don't, you also get yeah, you also get Merlinus, which is a bonus. Yeah, I like getting Merlinus a lot because I I hate inventory management with all of my hearts. When does uh, he join again? If you don't recruit him, uh, chapter seventeen, which is way too late for my liking. Oh wow, that is super. And it late really now. isn't that big of a deal. Like um, I'll talk more about it, but basically what what we're talking about is this village. You get a torch. But you also unlock the Merlinus chapter, which is a guiding chapter after this, chapter 13x. And you unlock it by visiting this village. You can refuse to go to the guiding even if you get the torch. Um, but the thing about the chapter is it's a defense map, so you don't really have to take any kills. But you get Merlinus a lot earlier, and Merlinus supplies the convoy. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think how I'm going to get rid of these enemies. I th I might, I'm either going to keep my choke point and just kill this Pegasus Knight and let the Brigand come to me. 
or I'll try to kill both. I, I, can, I can actually not kill both this turn, so I think I'm just going to keep my choke points. Uh, and heal, yeah. heal Dorcas and then rescue Jobster out of the way. Probably a good idea. If I miss, there's probably a way to kill him anyway, so I don't mind this too yeah, much. Rebecca could shoot it down. I mean, yeah. you don't care if Rebecca get a kill. Yeah, the one thing I regret though is Bartra and Dorcas, although they make good f XP stealing fodder, I guess is what I'll call it, because they're not, not long. I I'd like prefer to use the term dump, like you can dump the XP. <laughs> dump the XP, dump, because you, you like to use the dump yeah. analogy. Yeah, true. Yeah, just no, because like the XP is like turds on this playthrough. Yeah. We talked about this. Rare right? footage wanna... of Rebecca contributing to a rescue chain. Holy shit. <laughs> um, I, think, I think Sarah's the only one she can pick up too. Uh, might be possible to pick up Ninian or Niels or something. Um, but, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. But, uh, the, the bad side is any XP that them goes towards a chapter later on, uh, there's a route split between the Kenneth and Jeremy routes. And the Jeremy routes, yeah. you get it if you... What the hell? Mark's not doubling. I guess what? this guy is like... I think, he hasn't leveled up, has he? No, Marcus does get weighed down by the hand axe. So there's a chance this Cavalier has uh, 7 speed. I think is this yeah, threshold, yeah, which, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is would be doubled by Marcus if he had his Iron Axe equipped, but he has the Hand Axe. So yeah, like, yeah. But yeah, the the Jeremy chapter, um, you unlock it by having your Hero Crest units have more levels than most of your Guiding Ring users. Wow, get get out of here. Also, six. So you want you? So you want? Yeah, nice. You want to train your magic users? Like yeah, this, right? I want to train Sarah, Priscilla, Urk, and Lucius more than I want to train Bartra, Raven. Is it? Is it experience gained or total level? It is experience gained in Hector mode, I believe. Right, right. Uh, so that means that, yeah, you want to be really careful with giving physical kill stun in, in that case. Like every... Actually, that means you probably want to spam with Sarah now that I think about it. Yeah, I can take some experience with Sarah. I Because I don't really... we discussed the fact that maybe we shouldn't do that. But now I think that you actually should. Like, if you, there's like one hit point to heal, because you don't care if Sarah gets lower stats, but you do definitely care if she gets XP. Yeah, I think this might actually be uh, be a truth in the, in a very well disguised thing. Because um, my I also plan to use Raven perhaps since he's pretty good. He's almost like a pre promote. His base are just that good. Yeah, he's insane. I can't believe I thought he was bad. Like <laughs> yeah. that, that was such a weird. Give I don't know why three I... stars or something. Yeah, I mean I yeah, thought no. the same because he's I like. I even said two stars in North. Like I said two. Wow. I said three stars because so of like hard mode bonuses. I don't know why. Like I had this weird pitfall analogy that like you got so many sword users because you got Lin and Hollywood that like he's bad. I don't know why I thought that. Oh, Bart just gets doubled by this guy. So uh, please don't. Mm, he won't die though. No, but he's in the way. That's kind Has of. Has he way. leveled up yet? No, this is the first time. No speed, please. All right, he'll get speed. Uh, <laughs> armor, armor Knight Bartry coming Does in. Does it half. change him in any way? Uh, six speed is pretty common, actually. Like this guy is six. This guy. So now, seven. yeah. So now he gets doubled by by brigands. Yeah. yeah, he already got doubled by this cavalier, funnily enough. But like uh, five, yeah, four. One more wow. Point of speed. Hector wow. hard mode, full control. <laughs> okay, this works out okay. This is nice. Yeah, I don't mind. This is Sloan's first XP because he went to get the village last time. Uh, yeah, right, right, mm -hmm. right. Okay, and now... You should uh, probably hurry up, shouldn't you, before those enemies reach. Oh, that's not right. You gotta he recruit key. You wanna try to recruit everyone? Because, yeah, this is something we talked about. Like, um, Wallace. Are you gonna try to recruit Wallace, for example, or other, like, units that are very tedious to recruit? Or uh, are you fine with some units dying? Um, so I haven't decided. It depends on how hard it is when I get to Wallace. I, I remember pretty well. I mean, like, it's it's, it's a chore to recruit him. It surely yeah. is a big... Because, like, there are ballistas on the map that shoot down your flyers and stuff. So yeah, it's like... And he can only be recruited yeah. by growth units. That's a really annoying part. Like, Lin, Florina, Sane. Really yeah, and if, you, and if you forego Wallace... I mean, it's not it's not even about letting him die. It's about not recruiting him. It doesn't even, like, impact your survival ranking. But um, if you do that, you can, like, one-turn the map with by killing Lloyd. Uh, maybe you're not able to one-turn it with 0% growth stone. One turn needs, like, Wrath getting a crit or something, but yeah. Yeah, or two turn. Mm -hmm. I think but, I should... like, are you going to forego certain units for the, like, if you can... I want like, to recruit turn. everyone, but it might be impossible to recruit Wallace, so I haven't decided yet. Yeah, because I think everyone else is relatively easy to recruit. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, I mean, this, he doubled this guy anyway, I think. Yeah, because he has 10 AS. I don't think the Brigands have 7. I think they had 6. Wow, stop getting hit. Yeah, for the Desert chapter. What the hell? Let... <laughs> Get out of here. What the fuck? <laughs> you just want to let, like, Pent murder everyone on Desert chapter. Oh, yeah, for sure. Then you don't unlock the Genesis and die either. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely don't want to go to Genesis. There are no recruitable characters. Oh, yeah, uh, fuck Genesis, man. I think Matthew's one short. Oh, he isn't. Sick. Nope. Oh, cool. Um... Can you maybe, like, attack the boss with Hector? No, wait, he can't reach. Uh, or, like, 
recruit Matt, recruit Guy, and then like rescue drop Matthew maybe with Lowen or something. Yeah, I can rescue drop him. I can rescue. There's some forest Matthew. tile stairs that will prevent those cavaliers from killing him. So I think. No, yeah, maybe. He, he can survive the brigand no problem. So I can just yeah. drop him in this forest, and then this guy can't reach. Yeah, I think he'll be fine. Vartry gets doubled by this guy, obviously, and he's a sword. But I can use. Well, Osman would have been nice to have over here, but he has a slow moving unit. Um, he is slow. Actually, Gee can just kill this brigand, and then I have a huge ass safe zone here. So it's yeah. not too big of a deal. Last time I played this, I had Marcus kill the boss. Because um, there's just like no one else who can really hurt him. And I think I'm going to do it again, unfortunately. Not even Hector with the hand axe? Hector does like zero, I'm sure. Like, this guy has... Oh yeah, your Hector especially. Yeah, this guy has 16 defense, so 15 with weapon triangle and two accounts. Um, Iron Axe Hector. Like, Iron Axe Hector cannot hurt it, so Hand Axe yeah. definitely cannot. So I think it's gonna have to be rescue with... Well, I can rescue with Hector if I really want to. Let's see. That would be okay. Rescue with Hector and then drop yeah, the blow. You can like, you can like, oh yeah, right, yeah, drop on the same Because I was like, you can still see while right while rescuing, which yeah. is kind of funny. All right, come here. Okay, so we'll talk about Gee for a little bit. Um, Gee is really fast, which is probably his biggest selling point in this playthrough. Because I like the reliable doubling. He's my fastest unit by now, uh, even faster than Matthew. And he has a killing edge, which means his early game offense is really good. Uh, he falls yeah. off quite a bit. Like he does that in a gross playthrough, and yeah. you can imagine he falls even harder here. Uh, it, like his main selling points are like skill and speed, and neither of those are in high demand in FE7 in general. So, a guy that cannot counter at two range is just really bad. And he's also one of those hero crest units that I don't want to give too much EXP to. So I will use this guy when I need to, and then I will drop him like a, like a brick. I don't really want to use him too much. But you know he, what I he's think decent. about. Uh... You know what I think about uh, Guy? I don't think that his drop off will be noticeable because even like even if you somehow feed him like four levels and he loses skill and speed on every single one of those levels, he's still <laughs> gonna double and hit everything. So I and he's not gonna get he's gonna lose strength because his strength growth sucks. So I honestly don't think he will actually be that impacted by any negative level ups. I mean, by the time he does, you're done with him. So pretty much. I mean, him. if I get unlucky, he can lose a couple points of strength. He does have a, like a 30 or 35% strength growth, so it, it can happen and it would be annoying. And if he loses yeah. 2 points of speed, he has the same speed as Marcus, and you just saw Marcus doesn't double everything. And I would yeah. like to keep his speed intact, because then he can use a couple heavier weapons. Um, I don't have a steel sword right now, but for example, an iron blade could be cool to use with him. But overall, I think you're right. Gi is going to drop off no matter what happens. It's just a matter yeah. of when exactly is it going to happen. Um, I'm actually curious. No, I don't think Hector dies to two of these people. Um, he did. He would get doubled by this Pegasus Knight, but Pegasus Knights get doubled by or get weighed down by everything that is not a Slim Lance. So their effective speed is so shit. Yep. This is the this is the fun part about Pegasus Knights. Like you either give them a Slim Lance so they double and they do zero times two, <laughs> or you like put an iron and a steel lance on them and they get like zero speeds. So they lose what makes them like good to begin with. Mm -hmm. So I think like Pegasus Knights are usually very not not scary at all. And then, like, even Rebecca can kill him. Like, if, if Rebecca can kill you, you're a weak unit. But it's I better mean, than Binding Blade, where you face, like, Vibrant Lords or Vibrant Knights with 16 defense in Chapter 7, I guess. Yeah, that shit is hateful. That's a, that's, that is a dick move. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to think, can I save a Killing Edge use here? But if I want to drop Matthew this turn, I have to use Loan. So, I, I think yeah, I'm go just going to have to use the Killing Edge, whatever. It is a pretty good weapon that I think I will need more than, like, most growth playthroughs, but... Uh, What's so insane about the Killing Edge isn't necessarily its crit, it's its might. Like it's like it's more it has more might than a steel sword, which is just insane. It's like close to silver. Yeah, it also doesn't um, weigh him down. Uh well yeah, it actually weighs him so down good. by two, but it's not steel sword weighs ten, so it's like it's really efficient, it's really good. Yeah, but like even if the crit even if the killing edge had zero crit on it, it would still be an amazing weapon. Yes. Be because because it's like, yeah, it has so much might on it. Like, we need it just for the damage up, but if I crit, that's a bonus. I like, if it, if it crits, it saves your use most of the time. That's what's good about it. <laughs> Maybe I can bait this Cavalier to go for Bartre. That'd be kind of funny, because then he's not in a way for overseas. I think he will. I would go for Bartre if I were him, because Bartre is pathetic. 15 attack. Yeah, oh, do it. He, he dies. <laughs> oh, does he? He actually dies. He has. Uh, oh my god. He has fourteen dude. attacks, so with weapon triangle, it's fifteen. Oh my god. And then Bartra has four defense, so he just oh gets my wrecked. God. He can, I can heal. I can heal with Sarah, yeah, and then he survives. Yeah, put him in the. Can you put him in the forest too, maybe? That too. Uh, yeah. That's one extra defense. Yep. Pro strats. Yeah. The bait. 
You know, FE12 is all about baiting enemies with like low luck units. In this, in this game, you never really need to because the enemies are so weak. But now <laughs> I do need to. Um, I don't want to unequip Oswin yet, really. I'll just keep him with an Iron Lance, whatever. Uh, like yeah. I, I don't you need don't to go kill hunting for kills. Guys. I want him to get level 10, but he's going to get that no matter what. So I think I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Anyway. Like, when do you get your Knight's Crest? It's in, like, in the Bowker chapter, I think. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no the one after that. The, the indoor map with the green yeah. units. You know, I'll tell you something. Marcus can actually die. If I am, uh... oh, he's actually very likely to die. I'd use an axe. I yeah, think. I'm gonna trade him the iron axe that Hector has. I think use that on player phase, and then I can use the silver lance the next phase. Oh, you mean enemy phase? Yeah, uh, like I'll I will uh, trade for the, the iron axe with Hector. He will use it on enemy phase, and on player phase, I can finish this yeah, guy yeah, off yeah, with yeah, the silver yeah, lance. I, I do that too. I mean, yeah, the the cavalier won't do damage to Marcus anyway, and the Pegasus knight probably won't do damage to Marcus either. Yeah, they're probably not gonna attack. She him. has a she has a steel lance. Wow. Yeah, well, he's a, he'd have to get hit, of course. Um, I don't know what the enemy order. I think the boss usually attacks first in FE7, actually, so it might be a bit isn't scary. It the la isn't it the boss attack last? No, remember, in, like, defense chapters can end early. Mm. Uh, right. Yeah, just do it. Do it. Mm. Do it. Do it. Do it. I mean, this guy should go for Bartre if he attacks first. But if I get hit by both... Actually, let's see, 17 attack. If Marcus has an axe, he has... He does 6 damage to Marcus. And the boss, with if he has an axe, does, uh, he, he dies exactly. Gross. Yeah. Um, I can hand axe, true. and then I do 14, yeah. and then he heals a little bit. Yeah, then he uses his uh, javelin, which will make him easier to kill. Oh, he doesn't use a javelin, because he doesn't have one. Oh, so right. He, does, he, doesn't, oh, he doesn't attack on enemy phase, which is kind of bad. Yeah, and then, I, um, yeah, you can still kill him, though. He'll heal like three or four hit points. So I'm pretty sure Silver Lance Marcus can, can finish him off. Yeah, he can, if Marcus is up enough health, which he will be. I think I will go for the hand axe strat then. Yeah. You pay too much. I can also Oh my crit. god, you <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say it and then it just happened. <laughs> oh my god, what the hell? Um, hmm. Possibilities. There must be something uh, wrong with the RNG of this game. The only explanation. No. <laughs> Fire Emblem 7 RNG is different. No. There's clearly some sort of hidden PPC stat no. here. No, get out. <laughs> Fun, fun thing, guys, is I think Mecha actually get legitimately triggered, even by me jokingly trying to say things that are untrue. No. It's kind of, it's kind of like, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I wonder if Hector can die to, like, the Steel Lance, but I think Marcus uh, is covering. Maybe. No, no. Nope. Isn't nope. he range of the Cavalier, though, actually? No, they can't reach because of the forests. Oh. Pretty I, sure I have the feeling I fucked up, though. I have the really bad feeling that I fucked up. I got a bad feeling. About I've got this. a no, bad I, feeling about this. No, I'm pr no. They can reach the tile right next to the cavalier. I'm very sure. I'm very sure because you check their range, and I noted that they could attack the spot Gee was in. Okay, well, that's a huge relief that you think I didn't fuck up because you're an expert I am on fuck ups. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty I, I did sure check the range like a thousand up. times, but I have to yeah, memorize no, it. I sometimes. am very confident. You look. You're oh, okay. Okay, well, the problem is now that Marcus actually got hit, so... Oh, wait, I crit. Never mind. If I hadn't crit, crit... Yeah, if I hadn't crit, this would be very bad, but I did crit, Mecha so... Mecha relying on a crit to win a map. Yeah, because I, like, asked for that crit, right? The oh. sarcasm. Hey, it's not like I ask for my... Actually, I do. Actually. <laughs> 17 attack. <laughs> I predict 16. them. Uh, Barter cannot kill. I think it's Just like... Kill him, with, kill him with... Oh, you don't want the bus kill. Uh, not I necessarily, think no, but I think, I think it's no only choice. Marcus and Hector that can hurt him. <laughs> yeah, you got no choice, dude. Yeah. Like, you, you are in danger of death if you don't cease. Unless you want to kill, like, a soldier, an archer, a Pegasus Knight. That's a lot of experience, dude. I think you're just going to have to eat this one. Yeah, it's fine. I'll do it. I'll do oh, you want to... Yeah, you want to item manage a little bit for the next chapter. That's smart. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get a couple of axes here. Yeah, I'd get, like, a hand axe at the very least, because Marcus is going to use a lot of those. Um... This is, like, the part where you told me... Like, Manx, uh, buy four more javelins. And I was like, nah, I don't need four more javelins. Nah, and you're like, buy at least anyway. two, buy, buy two more. And I was like, next chapter, it's like, I'm out of javelins. <laughs> I, I remember. <laughs> but, that, but that's, of course, because I, I spammed a lot of javelins on Oswin and Marcus. Yeah, I expect to need less, but it's nice to have more when you need less. Better than to have less than when you need more. Yeah. So, uh, actually, out of gold. <laughs> you are fine, out of gold. But, yeah. You didn't get the red, red gem, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can sell uh, Sarah. <laughs> um, I would like an Iron Axe, but I don't you get at least two hundred gold for her. I think. At least that's like 
bargain. Uh, let's see. If I trade with Guy, um, I'm trying to think if I can get an Iron Axe to Marcus for your information. So. Ah, uh, that's what you're doing. Yeah. So I'll do this. You can with Kanto. Yep. This. This. Look at that. Trade strats. Mm, I think I'll do this as well. Yeah, sure. And then go here. Because if Marcus misses, he just dies. So Yeah, it's like a lot more reliable to use an Iron Axe. Mm -hmm. And then I don't think I need... I would actually like, like to have a two range weapon, but I forgot. Um, you can Even just have this. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, fuck, I don't need a three use hand axe, I don't think. I'll, I'll do this. I think I do need to kill some brigands next chapter, so I'll keep the iron sword. Yeah. And pray that I hit. And I forgot if he level up, levels up from this. Let's see. He might. I'm too late to save Marcus's level ups. Come on. Yeah, he'll level oh, up. Oh god. Oh. Okay, oh. this is I'm gonna, gonna be sick. One. This I'm gonna is a be very sick. important one. Oh, oh no. that's bad. That's oh. bad. Luck and resistance is good, but like oh. mana speed is so so detrimental. Gross, 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 gross. I think he doubles like so many less enemies now. Especially you think, you're gonna, you think you're gonna feed stat boosters to Marcus on this run, like the Draco shield and stuff? I think you should. Oh yeah, definitely. But there's no early game speed wings in Actor Hard mode, so No, uh... but Draco you get a Draco shield from Seal, and I think Marcus is a good candidate for that. Oh yeah. <laughs> All the stat boosters to Marcus for sure. Like even the late game speed wings are definitely gonna go to him, but oh my god, fuck. Yeah, that minus speed is a big deal. I don't uh... think he doubles Seal anymore with the javelin, for example. Uh Seelin is weighed down a lot. I might be fine against Seelin, but uh gross. Uh, did you turn your lock on? Did you not remember to turn your lock on for this chapter? Oh shit! Oh, sorry, uh, I, le I left lock. it on well, overnight. Don't forget next bad. time. Don't forget next time. I'll try not to. All right. Sad music. Uh, Lord Marcus, you're gross. <laughs> you're gross. No. <laughs> All right. I will accept the side quest, and I will see you guys next time for chapter 13x. Goodbye. In search of gross. Mm -hmm.